Obviously, you've seen this before, but there's a little twist to this. Okay. We're going to be doing just like we normally do. We've done number one. Write the number in the expander form. We've done that. And we've done what is the number, uh, what is the value in the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay. But we have not done three or three or four yet. Or we have to round, which that's what we've been doing all week. So write this number out for me right here. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's make it simple. And do that. So 1,235. Write the number in the box. Write the number in the box. Okay, if it says write the number in expanded form, well, we've done that. So how do you write an expanded form? 1,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 5. So what value is in the ones place? 5, thank you. What number is in the, uh, what value is in the tens? 30, yes. What value is in the hundreds? Okay, what is it? 200, good. And then what value is in the thousands? 1,000. Okay. Okay, listen carefully. Here we go. This is round the number to the nearest 10. Okay, you're going to need the little card that I just gave you. Okay, first of all, what number is in the tens place? Well, here's tens right here. What number is in the tens place? Three. So I'm going to put, I like to put a little X right there, okay? And you always look at the number to the right. Look at number to the right. You see the chart that I just gave you? The chart that I just gave you? It's right here. Okay. What does a five say to do? Add one. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Hold on. So go back to my place value worksheet. Go back to my place value worksheet. Okay. Am I working the, with the one and the two yet? No. So the five tells me to add a one. I'm going to add a one to the tenth place because that's what I'm rounding, right? So what's one plus three? Uh, just tell me, what's one plus three? Four. Okay. And what does the, the bottom of the card say? No, 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 no. What does it say? So you replace the numbers on the right. So in this case, I'm going to replace. I'm going to replace the five to a zero. So if I round 1,235 to the nearest 10, I get what? 240. 240. Now it says round to the nearest hundreds. Okay. So am I working with the thousands place yet? No. So then I can put a one right here. Okay. I could have put a one right there if I'm not working with that yet. Okay. Well, what number is in the hundreds place then? Three? Two. Two. Says tens, that's three. Two. What number is in the hundreds place? Two. Two. Okay, so then look at the number to the right. Look at your chart. What does the three say for you to do? Go back to my chart. And here it is. Here's one. And what does it say for you me to do? Stay the same. So do I have to change the, the two? No. 
stays the same. So go back to my there we go. Okay. So the two stays the same. And I replace these two numbers right here with Zero. Zero. zeros. How many zeros am I gonna need? Two of them. So if I round 1,235 right to the nearest hundreds, I get 1,200. 1,200. Yes. Then it says I need to. We've done this before, right? I need to add one, add ten, add a hundred, and add a thousand. So number six, seven, eight, sorry, five, six, seven, and eight, we've done it before, right? And number nine. Okay, so is the number out or even? Oh. How do I know? I need to look at the number in the, in the ones place. Okay, so five is odd, you're right. And then it says, number five says, what is the number if I add one? I'm going to take the number in the box, 1,235. Plus one. I'm going to take that number in the box. 1,235 plus 10. If I'm Roger, what should you be doing? There you go. It says, what is the number if I add 100? I'm going to take the number in the box. 1,235 plus 100. And then I take the number in the box again. 1,235 plus a thousand. Well, if I add one, five plus one is six, right? Three plus zero is three, two plus zero is two, one plus zero is one. So if I add uh, one, I get 1,236. If I add 10, oh, what's five plus zero? Five. Three plus one? Four. 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 0 is 1. If I add 10, I get 1,245. If I add 100, 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 0 is 3. What's 2 plus 1? 3, good. 1 plus 0 is 1. So if I add 100, I get 1,335. And if I add 1,000, obviously, 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 0 is 3, 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. If I add 1,000, I get 2,235. And we said that the number was odd.